friends, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. Today, I'm glad I didn't drop that. We are revisiting the Fenty Beauty Foundation. Now, when this first launched, the day it launched, sometime in September of 2017, I stood in line at Sephora before they opened and bought a crap ton of Fenty Beauty. The foundation was one of them. If you want to see the videos of the reviews, I did actually a vlog in my car. Hey, on we're live. Hi, friends. Welcome to another live stream. I just left Sephora and bought a bunch of Fenty Beauty stuff. I promised you this was coming. So let's do this. I wanted to have the top down because I thought it would give me more light, but the light is actually behind me. So it's not helping and it's just super loud. But yesterday's video, I showed you guys everything that I was planning on getting and I showed you links and I showed you pictures. Hi Tara. So before I go to work, I literally, literally went to Sephora before I went to work. I got in the car and I was like, I have to show them. So. I think gonna... I did actually a vlog in my car unboxing it the moment I left Sephora. I'll leave a link to that playlist down below. But my skin has changed significantly since I first purchased this almost. Can you guys believe Fenty launched? It's almost a year and a half. I think it's so like a year and three or four months. That's crazy. So almost a year and a half ago. Um, I used to have quick quickly I'll tell you about my skin. I used to have super oily skin my entire life. I got two chemical peels. I did film that. If you want to see the chemical peel process, link to those videos down below. And my skin went very dry. It went from dry to normal. And just up until like a couple weeks ago, it's been combo. And now I feel like I'm just full on oily again. And I don't remember how I feel about this, which is weird because I've had it since the day it launched, September 2017 but I haven't used it in a while. And it's not because I don't like it. I don't remember why I stopped using it, but I've just accumulated a lot more foundations. Like I've been trying a lot of the new foundation launches and this just kind of fell to the wayside. So I'm curious to try this now that I'm oily again and see what I think. So I didn't watch any of my previous videos because I didn't want it to kind of skew this video. I'm gonna show you me applying it and then I'm gonna check in with you throughout the day and we will see how it goes. So. Again, skin is currently, not currently, currently combo to oily. We're gonna jump back in time to me applying the foundation. I'll check in with you throughout the day. I like to get my boyfriend's input. I did this with Kat Von D's Lock It Tattoo Foundation and we kind of talked about like people canceling her and banning her. If you wanna see that video, I'll leave a link to it down below. And I like to get his input because <laughs> he's brutally honest first of all, and he notices some things that maybe I don't notice. So we'll get his input when he gets home from work. So let's jump in. How different do I look from the intro? It always cracks me up when I'm editing this and I'm like, oh, girl, you look completely different. Okay, so as you can tell, I already have my eyes done. I don't have anything on my face right now. I am still trying out the Fab Skin Lab Retinol Eye Cream from First Aid Beauty. I showed this to you guys, I think in the most recent video. It was the Kat Von D, have you banned Kat Von D? So it's an eye cream that has triple hyaluronic acid. This isn't sponsored. I'm just trying it out. Um, it's supposed to bring moisture to the skin, reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, which I have started getting this year, which is so much fun. So it is fun though, right? Cause it means I'm alive, right? If I'm not getting lines, I'm six feet under. That's how I think about those things. Some people might think that's a little morbid, but I'm literally like, I'm so grateful because if I didn't get wrinkles, that must mean I'm not alive. Is that a little weird? Only children, I tell you, only children. <laughs> Some only children are probably like, girl, we are not weird like you. You're just a weirdo. Anyways, got that on. When I do these videos, I like to do one side of the face with primer, one side without, just to see the difference. And I know some of you wear primer, some of you don't, and you like it that way. Current favorite primer is the poor, I always say poor, Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1 Correcting Primer. And this is the hydrating primer. It's oil-free, it's silicone-free. I don't put this, I usually don't put this all over the face. I'm gonna put, <coughs> sorry. I was just eating chickpeas and it's kind of stuck in my face. Stuck in my face? I'm delirious, friends. I've been up since five. Um, I usually only put this on certain areas of my skin because I have combo skin, but just because we're doing this foundation review, I'm gonna put it all on the, for me, it's the right side of my face. And I let that, I just press it into the skin. I use my hands and my fingers to apply a lot of my makeup. 
I'd say like 50% of my makeup I use my hands and fingers to apply. The only part of my makeup that I usually almost always use brushes is eyes, but face, I love using my hands. Um, all right. Foundation, so I am Fenty Beauty Shade 430. I probably mentioned this in the intro, but if you have not seen the playlist where I was on the hunt for my perfect shade when this came out, I literally remember being in line at Sephora the day they opened, the day they released. I went to the Sephora in, um, what Sephora did I go to? But I know I was there, the line wasn't that long and I was shocked. So anyways, I don't remember how I feel about this because it's been a long time. I'm gonna use my Luna Glow foundation brush. If you didn't know, I have my own beauty store. We actually just launched um, some makeup bags that are really affordable and really cute and good quality, which I'm really proud of. So I always link the store down below if you wanna check it out, lunaglowbeauty.com. So I'm using my foundation brush to press that in. That's how I apply my foundation. How do you guys apply your foundation? I'm always curious. Literally for years, this is what I do. I press it into the skin. I never ever swipe. And I always, no, I shouldn't say always, but most of the time I use a, a buffing brush like this. So I like the finish. I didn't watch my original Fenty Beauty videos. I have a whole playlist of videos because I didn't want it to skew what I think now. So I can't remember. I mean, obviously I must have liked this because if I don't like a foundation, I get rid of it. I am noticing I have to use a lot. I mean, I already did two pumps just to cover one side of the face, but it did a good job of covering up um, my acne scarring, which is nice. It's not super full coverage, I would say it's like medium buildable coverage. It just makes my skin look really smooth. I like that. This is funny. You have these videos you really have to watch till the end because that Kat Von D Locket Foundation video at the beginning, I was like, I love it. It looks just full coverage and thick. And then at the end of the night, I'm like, no, I'm not putting this on my face anymore. It just, I, feel, I was watching that video recently and I was like, I was being a little dramatic, I think. I don't think I would never wear it again, but I remember wearing that a couple times a week and it just starts feeling, especially for me as the day goes on, I get more and more oily. I don't know what's going on with my skin. My skin is transitioning right now from combo going back to oily, which I'm actually excited about. I never thought, if you would have asked me five years ago, are you, do you like oily skin? I would be like, hell no, but since having more dry skin, since my chemical peel, link down below to that video, I'm like, I want my oils back, and it's finally starting to come back, so I'm interested to see how this is gonna work. I am super chatty today. I have glitter all under my eyes, which will be fun getting off. I do not like this eye look. If you don't follow, I've started posting on YouTube stories. If you just go to my profile, you have to be on your phone. At the profile, it'll say like playlist, channel, and then it says stories, and so you can post like little short videos that stay up for seven days. I posted a review on the eyeshadow palette I used today. I do not like it. This eye look turned out nothing like I wanted. Okay, foundation is on. I had to use more than I thought. I think I had to use like three or four pumps to cover my face. Definitely prefer the side with the primer, hands down. It just looks smoother. I feel like it's blended into the skin more. I feel like you can see a lot more texture on my skin with, on the side without the primer. Definitely prefer the side with the primer. So I'm gonna put a little more on the side without the primer. I feel like I've used a lot. It's a very liquidy consistency, like not thick at all. And I think if you like full, full coverage, you're gonna need to build this up because I like full, full coverage. Um, so I'm gonna check in with you throughout the day and we'll just see how this wears because I don't remember what I thought. And my skin starts off, it's weird. It starts off combo in the beginning of the day and then towards the end of the day, it just gets more and more oily. So I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup do my hair, and I will check in with you in a couple of hours. Oh, hello there. Don't I look nice and shiny? So we are at the four hour mark. I put this on noon. Put this on at noon. It's now 4 p.m. Didn't realize how shiny I am. Okay, so remember, this is the side with the primer. This is the side without. I need to get a mirror, but I'm very shiny in four hours. Isn't this supposed to be a matte foundation? Hmm. 
Um, definitely prefer the side with the primer. You can see it's a lot less shiny. At least that's what I'm seeing in real life. A lot less shiny, and I feel like there's more coverage. Or, okay, we're getting, we're getting uncomfortably close here. That's what we do in these check-ins, okay? So we're gonna see real life, pores, texture, and all. Um, I don't know, I feel like on the side without the primer, it's starting to wear off on the chin as it normally does. Not as it, but foundation in general. I mean, coverage is still pretty good. I just look shiny. Is that coming across to you guys? I just feel like I look really shiny. I haven't powdered, I haven't blotted. I think after this, I'll go and powder. I definitely feel like it looks more shiny on the side without the primer, but the coverage is still there. Not having horrible creasing. Concealer still there, so not too bad. I'm just a little shiny, which is interesting because it's supposed to be a mattifying foundation, but I told you guys, my oil is coming back, but coverage is still there. If that one thing I do like, it feels very comfortable. It almost feels like I don't have anything on my face, which is really nice. So feels really lightweight, just a little shiny, but still good. Boyfriend's not home from work yet. Probably in the next check-in, which will be the last check-in, he'll be here, we'll get his input, but not bad, Fenty, not bad. Just a little oily. I probably should use, instead of the Pure Cosmetics, um, the Pure Cosmetics primer, I should probably use a more mattifying primer with this because, and I've seen a lot of people say that. They're like, this is supposed to be good for oily skin, but I get pretty oily when I wear this. And then I see people with dry skin say it's a little too drying for them. So maybe if you're normal, combo is good, but I'm pretty oily. But then again, it is four hours. I'll just check in with you later. I'm not making any sense. Four hours in, I'll check in with you probably in another four hours. Oh my gosh, I look stunning. So, oh, Mr. Coco's here, tearing up his toy. We're in natural lighting, it's the end of the day. If I look different, it's because I am different. I tried to wait to get my boyfriend in this and to get his review, because I know you guys love that, but he's been busy working. I was trying to wait for him to get ready, to get ready, I'm so tired, guys, to get home, to do it today, he's still working, he's a busy bee, so. We're just gonna check in without him. So I put the foundation on again today. I put it on at six and it's now 6 p.m. So I put it on at 6 a.m. So we're at the 12 hour mark. Um, this is the side with the primer. This is the side without. I'm feeling a little indifferent here. It, I know that this foundation says it's for oily skin, but when I wear it, even with primer, I don't know if you guys can tell, I'm still pretty oily. Um, and it's the foundation is pretty much gone on this side, but I think it was because when I was working, I was kind of doing this. I didn't do it on this side, and I see more coverage here. There's still coverage. Um, I just look oily. I don't know. I just feel like I look really greasy. And with other foundations, I don't look this greasy. It's kind of making me uncomfortable that I'm so close to my face right now. So, ugh, yeah. I think if you have oily skin like I do, you really should use a mattifying primer because I don't know, I just feel like I kind of look like a grease ball. And where I've gotten really oily, it's showing a lot of the texture and I don't like that. So, yeah. I'm gonna keep using it. It's very interesting. I like retrying these foundations now that my skin is different. If you guys wanna see more videos with me retrying other foundations, maybe oldies that I've tried, let me know. I'm thinking of doing it with the Giorgio Armani um, foundation I bought like two years ago and trying that again because my skin is different. But I liked the way this looked in the beginning. You saw in the middle of the day, it was very oily and I feel like now it's just showing texture and oil, and I think I can make it work with using a mattifying primer. So those are my thoughts. Those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments down below.